What's up guys? My name is Melissa. So in this video, you're going to learn on how you can buy cryptocurrency alternative coins like SafeMoon. So I know that this can get very complicated at first, which is why I'm going to give a quick step-by-step -step tutorial for all the beginners out there. So first, make sure and download the app called Trust Wallets. Here's how the Trust Wallet app looks like. Make sure to download that. Now let's open the app and sign up. This part is very crucial. Write these keywords down and make sure to not lose it. This is pretty much your password for your crypto wallet. You'll be asked to put those keywords in order just like they were before. Then here is your crypto wallet. You will need to buy Smart Chain BNB coin to trade for SafeMoon crypto. Tap buy Smart Chain. Then put the amount of money you want to use for purchase. I'll be doing $100 for this one. Go ahead and start putting your card details. Make sure to use a debit card because credit cards have higher fees and might get denied. Your debit card will block the transaction at first so you'll have to call your bank to unblock it. This is my second time buying so it is automatically authorized as I already made the call beforehand. My payment has already been approved. For some other people, this could take longer, but for now, I'm just going to go back to the trust wallet. While waiting for the money to transfer, for iPhone users, you'll want to add another tab on the bottom to enable the trust browser. To do this, you'll have to go to Safari first. Type this exact link, then tap go. And now you can go back to the app. Now you can see that you have some money in your wallet and you now own some smart chain BNB coins. You'll notice that my $100 turned into $89 because of the transaction fees. You'll also notice that there are four tabs now because we just added the browser. Tap on that and tap PancakeSwap which is what we will use to trade those BNB tokens for the SafeMoon crypto. We are going to unlock our wallet, then click Trust Wallet, because that is the app that we are using. Then choose Max or the amount that you want to convert. Now I'm choosing SafeMoon. SafeMoon recommends to do 11% for the slippage tolerance. If that doesn't work, try 12%. Now just confirm on everything. The transaction is done, meaning you have some SafeMoon crypto now. You can't see the SafeMoon on your wallet yet, so to make it visible, click on the top right and enable SafeMoon. There you go! I know that was a lot of steps, but you are finally at the finish line. Thank you so much for watching, good luck on your investments, and see you on the moon!